Yes, you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Triangulation is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Triangulation, episode 335, recorded Friday, February 23rd, 2018. Andrew Keene, How to Fix the Future. Triangulation is brought to you by Rocket Mortgage from Quicken Loans. Home plays a big role in your life. That's why Quicken Loans created Rocket Mortgage. It lets you apply simply and understand the entire mortgage process fully so you could be confident you're getting the right mortgage for you. Get started at rocketmortgage.com slash triangulation. And by ZipRecruiter. Looking for your next great hire? ZipRecruiter offers simple tools and powerful matching technology to find you qualified candidates efficiently and effectively. It's the smartest way to hire. Try it free at ziprecruiter.com slash triangulation. It's time for Triangulation, the show where we get together with some of the most interesting... Yes, I'm back. I'm here. I only get to do this once a month now, but I get to pick my authors, the show where we get together with some of the most interesting people in technology. Uh, my guest today, is it's not his first time in the Triangulation hot seat. <laughs> he's, a, he's a dear friend uh, I've known for some time, and he keeps writing provocative books. You may remember The Cult of the Amateur. But that was 2007. Yeah, a long time ago. And then the last uh, book we were you were here for, which is The Internet is Not the Answer, uh, the world's most famous Luddite, who is no longer a Luddite, I'm happy to say Andrew Keene is. I was never a Luddite. You knew that. Yeah, I knew that. I just you, you say in this book, your new book, How to Fix the Future, you've pivoted. <laughs> yeah, well, that was a joke. Right? I know it was. Silicon Valley pivot. Uh, no longer uh, anti-technology. Were you not okay? So be better before we get into this. Why are you not a why Why are you not a luddite? I'm, look, a luddite smashes machines. Okay, right. You're not Ned. The luddites Lud. thought that we go back to candles and caves, and even I wasn't that extreme. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people call me an internet skeptic. Yeah, well, that's fair. Well, I I think I was a realist. You know, yeah. back in 2007, I wrote Cos the Amateur, which you and I argued about for years saying that user generate that this sort of this fetishization to use an interesting word of um of doing away with gatekeepers experts curators like you wasn't overall good for media it was bad in two ways firstly it undermined professionalism made it harder and harder for professional journalists and entertainers to make an income and secondly, I opened the door to corruption, to trollery, and you know, you know where we are. Are you at. taking a victory lap now? Ten years later, I'm not taking a victory lap. Someone asked me, well, "How do you feel about this? Do you feel really vindicated?" And I thought about it, and then I thought, actually, I feel relieved because I wasn't actually sure I was right. <laughs> I mean, you always you couldn't guess. have been more <laughs> more accurate, as it turns out. Well, I took an extreme view, which certainly wasn't wrong. Uh, you're a little bit of a agent provocateur. I mean, you're not. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't entirely right. You wanted I mean, to no be a one's ever right. right. But, but look, you remember back then, there were two big books. There was mine and Chris Anderson's Long Tail. And I don't see Chris Anderson here. Do you? <laughs> what happened to him? I don't know. <laughs> he, 